Bionic eyes are failing because of ended support by the manufacturer. Round about 350 people with bionic eyes might lose their eyesight again because the manufacturer of their eyes has financial problems and won't support the bionic implants anymore. This headline sounds like it was taken from a cyberpunk novel, but this is actually happening. People with bionic eyes actually exist today and they are facing an everyday problem, ending hardware support by the manufacturer. But in their particular case, it is not that easy to replace these devices with an updated model. The company's second site created a bionic implant called Argus 2, which can offer a blind person some kind of sight to help in everyday life. The bionic eye is not as perfect as we see in science fiction movies. Additionally to the implant in the patient's eye, there is an external camera mounted on glasses and a video processing unit that is worn on the waist. The camera sends the video signal to the processing unit, which converts the images into black and white pixels. Those images are then sent back to the glasses and then beamed wirelessly to an antenna outside of the eye. Behind the retina, the patient has an electrode array, which uses the patterns from the glasses to stimulate the eye by creating flashes of light, which correspond to the scene images, and this way the user perceives some kind of artificial vision. But this technology was discontinued in 2019, and the company will switch efforts to brain devices which is a problem for the users of the Argus 2. It is amazing what we can do with technology today. Bionic implants will get more sophisticated and more powerful and will improve or prolong life of many people. But it will also increase our dependency on these technologies. What if I receive an artificial heart and my model is not supported by the current operating system anymore? Will I die of a failed software update? And what if I can't afford a life-saving brain implant and I have to lease it instead, but fail to pay the lease? Will it be removed by force? Or will the rest of my body become property of the bank? I wonder if dignity and accountability of bionic implants will become a subject to study for future generations. On the other hand, scientists in Australia grew a human brain in a petri dish and plucked it into the matrix, or at least a pong simulator. You should take a look at this here. It is fascinating and disturbing at the same time.